Welcome back to Last Play, and here what is going to be the start of Wholesome Kirby Episodes Play. Yay! This is the cutest game to come out of the Wii era, which is saying a lot, because, you know, it's the Wii. It's exactly what it's all about, and oh yeah, we already... There's the one file. I've already played through this game, but Cosette has not. I have never played this game, and Tyler's been waiting and waiting and waiting to show me this game, like... Look at the Waddle Doos, one of them sleeping. Aww. This is so cute already. Yeah, it, it's like a good example of like the best thing you could. Don't Welcome skip. To yeah, the best thing you can do a lot of the times is just make it really, really storybook graphics is what I like mm -hmm. to call this. It works well because the you don't want to try and do like what they were doing in the 64 era with like, here's these 3D models of Kirby and Mario and they look kind of mm -hmm. like bad. It's like this. It, it looks like a like like a little kid's craft project where you cut out a bit of Kirby and then put it on a on like a newspaper and like here's my Kirby story, which as a teacher that's very appealing to me. Yeah, that that gives me project ideas. Um, and this though this game is not at all like any other Kirby games. Have you ever have you ever played like a Kirby game? Um yeah. Um I had some I think my very first exposure to Kirby was actually Smash Bros. Yeah. Um, as a kid. Um I really really liked Kirby just as a character. I really liked him. And then I started playing Kirby games on my Game Boy. Oh, those were the good Kirby games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I had a couple, one or two Kirby games. Um, for my DS now, I have Kirby Triple Deluxe. Um, I haven't played my DS in a long time. Uh, so I haven't played Triple Deluxe in a long time, but um, I enjoyed that game too. Yeah. yeah. It, it, I think Triple Deluxe was the one that had a bunch of the older Kirby games put together in it. Yeah, probably. I wasn't a huge, like, I didn't have consoles really growing up. Well, I did, but meh. I didn't have Kirby yeah. games on console growing up. So, you know, I wouldn't recognize them, but probably. Yeah, a lot of the... Kirby is one of those franchises that, from its beginning, has been rehashing and remastering their old games and reselling them. Like, the original Kirby Super Nintendo games, like, came with the original Kirby on them and then, like, different modules of them and... It's 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 one of those weird things where like they're so enjoyable to replay that it's not a huge deal that you've that you've done that before. So this is mm -hmm. uh, Prince Fluff helping you to patch land. Um, Prince Fluff has this face of always looking displeased with yeah, everything Kirby is cute. doing, <laughs> and Kirby is the face of someone who knows that he did something wrong but doesn't care. No, it's not that he doesn't care. I don't. I think he's that oblivious. Ah, uh, true. Kirby. Kirby stories usually end with Kirby is sleeping while the entire world is destroyed. Hmm. Oh wait, do I get? How, how do I join? Oh, I guess yeah. I just join. Hold on. Oh, Hold I'm already on. in there. Okay. Okay, you're there. Okay. Just didn't want to start without you. Oh, you can choose to get rid of. Yeah, all the all Kirby stories are basically Kirby was sleeping and then some everything bad happens. He's like, oh, everything is terrible. Maybe I should do something about it. <laughs> so this is not like any other Kirby game. In okay. that you don't really absorb powers, you just kind of are a oh, yarn what? person, and so yeah, you can turn into uh, yeah, a little telling parachute. You to jump with two. Yeah, so just like a little big planet, we'll let you take the lead. Prince Fluff is here to follow. Yeah. Okay. So unravel. See, oh. it's very cute. Let's very murder cute. and unravel the very existence of those Waddle Dees. Now, if you hold the button, you do something else. So. I'm not sure what that s little sludge is, but you Wait, turned it what? into its uh, base components. And you now have a tub of yarn you can throw at people. <laughs> Easy peasy. Now we can cheat and hey. throw, throw you up. Hold on. Hey. Ah, there we go. Wait, where'd the star go? Do we oh, have to we got it. it. Yeah, because I threw you into it. You collected it. And then you turn into this little submarine fish oh thing. Oh my god, that's so Ooh. precious. Okay, wait, what is it trying to tell us to do? Oh, just oh, to yeah, swim. Oh yeah, just okay. that you can swim. And you can tap the two button to go faster. So I good. just want to make sure I actually read those so that... Yeah. It, it's it's fairly intuitive. Um, you can figure out the game basically as it goes, like turning into a car. Hey, you pushed me! Yeah, I did. Don't jump on the spike. 
Ah, there you go. Yeah, I wasn't trying to, but you make freaking What? Yeah, see this little tag here? So you can undo the tag, and there's something underneath. Aha! Okay, could you- Bullied out. No! Yes! Uh-huh. This chandelier is very simple and very elegant. Can't go wrong here. Yes, All right. we eventually get a room that we can decorate. And so we find items to put in the room and decorate into our little Kirby house. Oh, that's what this is. Okay. And then we get out. Oh, that's I fell onto really the other cute. side. Yeah, this is, it's, 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 it's an adorable game. Ooh. Boop. Parachute down. So, and, um, because it's, um, in that Wii game Wait. sphere where, oh yeah, this, uh. Oh, it's just grabbing yeah. this. And it looks like something else. Oh my god, that's so cute, the freaking curtain. Yeah. Like, help me. And now you can swing like a bowling ball. Ah, back and forth and jump up to get up here. Yeah, this belongs to the um, old type of Kirby game, or type of Wii game where they don't really want you to um, ever really lose. And I think they did it really, really well um, in a way that the um, the Mario games didn't. Because with the Mario games, you um, basically they gave you the like if you started oh. if you started having a hard time. Yeah. If you start having a hard time in the old Mario games, what happens is that they actually, let me tell you a little secret. You can grab his spear specifically, and now he's scared. And you can just leave him. He, he just flops. Yeah. Wait, what? how is it telling us to turn into a car? What? Double tap. Oh. And you can jump up here. Yeah, the old Mario games, like when you started dying a lot, they uh, the new Mario games, they give you like the white Tanuki suit that lets you just bypass the level without any threat, which isn't really that good of a solution. Hey, I want to read those things! Sorry, that's, that was a bit of music. Um, instead, what this game does is that you actually can't die, but every time you, like, take damage that would cause you to, um, lose or, or fall down a bottomless pit, you lose some of these little gems that you collect out the stage. And that's how you okay. unlock this, the gold medals to do well on the stage, and you use that to buy stuff for your apartment, and... That way, like, it doesn't. It really. It does like punish you for like not having, Dope not being able to get gold. by. But you like, you'll never get stuck. Yeah. And so it's it's really pleasant game to play. There's there's no real um. There's no frustration. There's no like pressure. Yeah. Yeah. It's just it, you're going through Patchland, Kirby and his new I pal Prince Fluff. Who, yarn boy said. Not that I need who I just wow, like those eyebrows. Those. Kirby. <laughs> Ever since Yin -Yang the the, those Prince Fluff's eyebrow face. game is legendary. It's basically velvet in eye shape. And this weird fluff... Like, girl, tell me who threads your brows. <laughs> Literal seamstress. Oh no! I actually really want to get mine threaded. I hear it doesn't hurt. And like, people really like the results. Like most things though, it's like... It's relatively expensive and time-consuming. I know it's not that expensive, actually, and it's very quick. Okay. It's the opposite of that. Oh, well. It's the literal opposite. I imagined it would be. No, it's very quick. Ah, so learn to do it at home, and then you can... No, but it's like, I... You know what threading is? Like, what they do? Not particularly, no. Like, they take threads and, like... It's kind of hard to explain, like, put them on your face, intersecting in ways that, like, pull the hair out. Weird. I don't really fully understand how it works, but it does. Probably witchcraft. Yeah, probably a little bit of magic involved. Oh, Kirby's decided to help Prince Fluff put his world back together. That's very nice of Kirby. He usually likes to just go to sleep early and have, have uh, long naps. Yeah. So Prince Fluff is going to have to really motivate him to keep going. All right. Patch Castle. Oh, we get to go on to Grassland and pass by this little mustachioed okay, landowner. But first. First, we gotta get up here. First, you gotta Ooh, see what's up here. Ooh, okay, I don't even know. know. I don't remember what's in here. Good to know. There's little bells. Hey, what the? It's oh. Callous. Oh, if you press the A button, it um. Oh, not the A button. Oh, I think the A button. Patch Ooh. Plaza. Oh, you went to Patch Plaza. I thought ringing the bell caused the loading screen to happen. Oh. 
Oh, this tells us no. our progress What's on this? various oh. patches and stuff. Which oh, okay. Flips? Understand yeah. uh, cutscenes. Oh, movies. Gotcha. Yeah. Yes, understandably, we're at mostly zero, so let's get out of yeah. here. And we are so going to decorate our house. Oh, absolutely. As, as we do it. Absolutely. Just like, it's just like the pot in Little Big Planet. You just can't. Did I accident? Oh, yeah. We're having cutscene. Oh, Prince Fluff. What an unexpected surprise. And who might your friend might be? Who Lord friend? Kirby, you say? He is visiting us from another world, you say? How exciting. My name is Dom Wool. And it is my pleasure to make your acquaintance. That's no problem. Uh, Lord Kirby is helping you save our beloved Patchland? Oh, that's just wonderful. I'm the quilt manager of Quilty Court here. Please come inside for a moment. I insist we won't, you know, put a, put you through a timeshare or anything like that. No pressurized sales pitch here. Just friendly, friendly neighborhood real estate managing. Welcome to your new home. Well, I suppose not mo much to look at yet, but I would be honored to have one of Prince Fluff's guests staying here. Yeah! Aha! Oh! Oh. <laughs> As your moving gift, I give you a little chair. Please feel free to furnish... We'll as much as you right letter. Yay, Naren! Yes. Sign this contract without me telling you how much it will cost. I am a friendly neighborhood real estate manager. Woo! I think I hear one of my tenants or an, a convenient excuse waiting outside. <laughs> Congratulations, you are now agreed to pay me. <sighs> yeah, okay. So yeah, we can decorate this. Uh, next time on Last Play, we'll uh, have this room a little bit decorated, have our starting room a little bit furnished. Hello, ah, now we got uh, business. Ah, woo. 